Short history of yurts. A yurt is a round, tent-like home. Traditional yurts are portable, lending themselves well to nomadic lifestyles. A yurt structure is usually provided by flexible wooden framing, covered by furs, felt, or canvas. The word comes from a Turkic root that means, homeland, also literally referring to the imprint a yurt leaves in the ground when it's moved. In various parts of Central Asia, yurts have been common dwellings for thousands of years. They have played a significant role in the nomadic way of life, providing shelter, warmth, and protection from the harsh elements of the Central Asian steppes. The origins of the yurt can be traced back to the ancient Turkic tribes that inhabited the region around the 3rd century BC. These nomadic people roamed the vast steppes of Central Asia, moving with their herds of horses, sheep, and camels in search of grazing lands, water sources, and better weather conditions. They needed a portable and durable dwelling that could be easily transported from one place to another, and the yurt was the perfect solution. The first yurts were made of felt, which is a non-woven fabric made from sheep's wool that is felted together using heat, moisture, and pressure. The felt was used to cover the wooden frame of the yurt, providing insulation and protection from the elements. The wooden frame was made from locally sourced materials, such as willow or poplar branches, and was assembled using a unique interlocking design that did not require any nails or screws. Over time, the design of the yurt evolved to become more efficient and functional. The felt cover was replaced by more durable materials such as canvas, while the wooden frame was reinforced with stronger and lighter materials such as bamboo or aluminum. The circular shape of the yurt was maintained, as it represented the unity and harmony of the nomadic people, as well as their connection to the sky and the earth. The use of yurts spread throughout Central Asia, as different nomadic tribes adopted the design and made their own modifications to suit their specific needs. The Kazakhs, for example, developed a larger and more complex yurt known as the Karega, which could be assembled and disassembled in a matter of hours. The Kyrgyz, on the other hand, developed a more compact and lightweight yurt known as the Vibaz UI, which was designed for easy transportation over the mountains. Yurts played an important role in the social and cultural life of the nomadic people. They were used not only as dwellings, but also as gathering places for family and community events. Yurts were often decorated with colorful carpets, tapestries, and other textiles, creating a warm and inviting atmosphere. The central hearth in the yurt provided warmth and light, as well as a place for cooking and socializing. As the nomadic way of life began to decline in the 20th century, yurts started to lose their significance as a primary dwelling. However, they remained an important symbol of the Central Asian culture and way of life, and efforts were made to preserve and promote the use of yurts. In recent years, yurts have experienced a resurgence in popularity, as they have been adapted for use in camping, glamping, and ecotourism. Today, yurts can be found all over the world, from the remote steppes of Mongolia to the beaches of California. They continue to provide a unique and eco-friendly lodging option for those who appreciate the simplicity and functionality of the yurt. The history of yurts is a testament to the ingenuity and resourcefulness of the nomadic peoples who created them, and to their enduring legacy in the cultural and architectural heritage of Central Asia. Made by the Nomad Yurts Company visit us on Instagram at Nomad Yurts.